are developing satellites, but it's all mostly weather related, um, you know, things. So tell me, what led you to set up the PSSEC? Okay. Um, so basically, uh, yes, Pakistan did start off with a very good start um, <laughs> with the rocket that you mentioned. Um, what led me to start PSSEC is, um, you know, basically I'm a software engineer and um, I was working um, in the corporate sector for a good 10 years. Um, and then, you know, I had my kids and, you know, being the woman, how when you start a family, you're supposed to take care of your kids. So I yeah. sat home for a while. Hmm. Um, after that, um, when I started to think about going back to work, yeah. I was a little hesitant because, you know, in the technology field, you say that, you know, technology advances very fast. So I was feeling that I may not know what is going on today. So That's true. underestimating the job of a school, I <laughs> just started <laughs> off with a school and I started teaching. So I was mm. teaching computer science to students and yeah. that is from where it actually, um, the STEM education journey, I would say, mm. started. So STEM for, for the viewers, I would just elaborate it, science, technology, engineering, and math. Yeah. Um, and that these subjects are taught in a blended teaching and learning method and also project-based learning methodologies. So there's a lot of teaching methodologies which are used in the developed countries today. Um, those methodologies come into play. And the idea is very simple, and that is to increase the comprehension of students, to increase or enhance the learning outcomes of whatever you are learning. Yeah. So... Then what happened was that over there in that school, I, I got a chance to explore robotics. And that is where mm. Lego comes into play. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I introduced, so, <laughs> you know, Lego we know from our childhood, right? Absolutely. Um, we're all very familiar with the Lego kids. But yeah. when it came to...